The experiment I'm going to show you today deals with bilingualism and the neural correlates underlying bilingualism, meaning pe for people who speak two languages, we kind of look at what their brain does. First, we have to put facial electrodes on the participant. Then, we fit them with a cap. When that's good to go, we check from the, it's called the head box, that's where we check the readings. We can come back into this room and check the signal through the computer. So then, when everything looks good there, we can run the trials and we give participants, it's called a lexical decision task, where they have to determine whether a word that is being presented to them on the screen is in fact a word or is it not a word. And we actually present it to them in two different languages, English and Spanish, because this is a bilingual study. The language area that we're looking at is kind of here on each side. It's about the same amplitude here and here, so in English and Spanish. But when you have um, increased proficiency in your language, the lateralization is what it's called. So the difference in amplitude in that brainwave increases. So just in the advanced speakers alone between both languages, you can see that on the left side, the amplitude is much greater than on the right side, it's much less. So the brainwave difference um, is actually indicative of, or it's correlated with proficiency or experience within the language because all of the bilinguals we used were known as late bilinguals, so they learned their second language from puberty and beyond. So it kind of, we were kind of trying to shake off that stigma of late in life learning and show that you can do it. 